Hey everyone, so I was invited by Free to Frugal to participate in this collab about the pros and cons of renting a home versus owning a home. Now, if you haven't checked out her channel yet, she is relatively new here on YouTube, but she has a lot of really great content. Um, her and her husband are debt free. They own their house outright. They actually just paid cash for their home and uh, they've only had it for about a month and they've already gone in there and they started ripping stuff up. And I absolutely love that. That's like exactly what I would do. And so she's sharing that process on her channel and it's just really good content. She's also a minimalist. And so again, it, she just has good stuff on her channel. So go check her out. Subscribe to her if you're not already. And so again, we are going to discuss the pros and cons of renting versus owning a home because her and I both are kind of in similar situations. We used to own homes. We sold our homes and became renters so that we could buy something else. And um, so we kind of know the best of both worlds. And so we just thought it would be a good idea to share some of our ideas and suggestions with you guys. Okay, so the first topic I'm going to discuss is renting and the cons of renting. So the first thing that came to my mind was the fact that when you're renting, something you can't personalize it you can't really change things up because it's not your property so you can't you know go in the kitchen and rip up the floors or you can't you know um, remodel the bathroom or you can't paint or you can't go out in the yard and rip up the plants because you don't like them um, it's someone else's property so you have to respect it so you renting is just that you are paying somebody else for your ability to sleep there at night, to use the shower, to cook in the kitchen, and that is it. You can decorate, you know, and do things like that, but you can't really, you know, do anything else beyond that. You can't rip down walls. You can't build something in the backyard. Um, you can't add on to it. You're renting, so your, your hands are kind of tied as far as personalizing the home or the apartment. The second point is that your rent that you're paying is essentially benefiting somebody else. So if you're renting a home, um, your rent payment to them is paying their mortgage and and then it's also putting some money in their pocket. Or if you're renting an apartment complex, the money that you're spending for your rent every single month is going to benefit somebody else. And of course, you know, you pay to, you know, have a possession of that property for, you know, X amount of time, but it's not going towards anything else beyond that. And so for me, I love the idea of owning a home because you have a mortgage that you are essentially paying off and, you know, getting ahead a little bit. But with renting, it's just that you're you're paying to be able to physically, you know, uh, have control of that apartment for an extended period of time or, or, or that home. And uh, that's it. It doesn't go beyond that. You have no ownership to it. And it's just not really fun. And the third con of renting versus owning a home is that it's not forever. I'm the kind of person that I like being in a home and thinking I could be here 40 years from now and we're gonna have 40 Christmases and birthdays and celebrations and high school proms and graduations and all these wonderful things. But if you're renting, you know that you're not gonna be there 40 years from now. So it, for me, it's like, it's hard for me to invest myself emotionally into a piece of property um, if I know that, again, I'm not going to be there in five years. So you kind of just are camping out until you can buy something. So again, it's not forever and, um, it's just a, a season of life that you're kind of transitioning out of. Now, as far as the pros of renting, cause there are quite a bit, the first one that I came up with was the fact that you can change your living situation easily if you need to do so. So if you get transferred to another state and you need to move, um, you can do that pretty easily as long as you um, respect the lease that you signed initially uh, and you don't, you know, try to break that or anything, but you don't have to, you know, get a real estate agent and try to sell your home and, and go through that whole process. You can basically wait until your lease is up and then you can move easily. So I do like that, I like the flexibility of saying, hey, I'm not happy here, so I just have to wait until January when my lease is up and then I can move. Or, you know, if you're having a baby or a big life changing event and you need more space or you don't need as much space or whatever it may be, you can make those changes easily. With uh, owning a home, it's a little bit more difficult because you have this huge, you know, obligation as far as the mortgage and putting it on the market. And sometimes those things don't really sell that easily and you're kind of at the mercy of the market. But if you're renting and you need to make that life change, um, you can do so easily. The second point is that renting allows you a place to live during transitional times. So say if you're young and you're in college or you, you know, just graduated college and you're trying to find your place in the world, you know, you don't really need to be buying quite yet. It's probably good that you're renting instead of owning because you're kind of, again, in this transitional place. You don't know if you're going to be getting married in the next couple of years or where your job is going to be. So instead of, you know, making that investment with 
buying a home, um, you rent for a little bit. You know, it just really gives you that flexibility to find you and find where it is that you want to be initially because buying a home is a big investment. And so it just gives you renting, just really gives you the ability to uh, have a place to live during those transitional places in your life. And for me, for example, whenever my husband and I sold our home and we became uh, renters, it was because we were in this transitional place. We didn't want to be in the neighborhood that we were in anymore. And we weren't really in a financial position to own that house anymore. And so we became renters. We took that risk off of us. We were in this transitional place where we were, you know, still working the baby steps and going to school. And we just didn't need the stress of home ownership hanging over us. So that's what I really love. It's just the flexibility and the ability to, you know, just rent during transitional times. And the third pro as far as renting is that there aren't any risk. I mean, you have no maintenance, you have no upkeep. You don't really have to do anything as far as the property goes. You literally just live there, respect the lease, and you pay your rent. And that's all you have to do. I mean, of course you have to clean and do things like that, but if the roof starts leaking, you don't have to call somebody and deal with it and pay for it yourself. You call your landlord or, um, you know, even at our apartment complex, when the light bulbs went out, we all we had to do was call maintenance and they would come and replace the light bulbs. I mean, we literally were only responsible for paying the rent and that was it. So that was really nice. Like, oh, if the garbage disposal breaks, we just call maintenance. Oh, if the roof starts leaking, we just call maintenance. You know, we didn't have to do anything else beyond that. So again, during a transitional time, that was very helpful to not have that stress and responsibility. Now moving on to home ownership. Now one of the cons is having to be responsible for everything, which is basically what I was just saying. If the roof leaks or if something happens, you are responsible. You can't call anybody else. You have to deal with it and that can be pretty expensive. So that's why, you know, if you're in a position kind of like how we were with, you know, owning a home but having zero equity in it and just not really being in the best position financially and not wanting to live in that area or the neighborhood anyway, we we sold it. We sold our house and we became renters and we took off that risk entirely. So we were not responsible for anything. And um, like even at our old house, like at some point the air conditioning was going to be needing to be replaced, which that's an $8,000, $10,000 expense. Uh, the roof needed to be um, probably replaced at some point. The fence needed to be replaced. And we just weren't in a position financially to be able to take on those big, um, you know, uh, uh, projects in the future. So for us, not having to do that and renting was absolutely the best thing for us. So when you own a home, you are responsible for all those things, which means that you have to have the cash available to take care of those things um, if they to, if they were to occur. So the second con of home ownership is that you're at the mercy of the market. Now, a fear that I have is purchasing a home and purchasing at the top of the market and then within a few years of living there, that mar market I either crashes or it's just the house is not worth as much because the market slows down a little bit. And so if we need to sell, you know, we don't have any equity in it beyond, you know, just our down payment. Um, I really want to be in a position where I buy a home, I buy it at the lowest part of the market, and I have, you know, a down payment. So I have a lot of wiggle room between what I owe on the home versus what it's worth. Um, so, but that is a risk that you take when purchasing a home is that you're kind of at the mercy of the market. And um, it's just, it's just kind of a risk that you take, unfortunately. So the third third con I thought of when it comes to owning a home is having to deal with bad neighbors. Now, I was kind of on the fence on whether or not I wanted to talk about this, but uh, for us personally, our very first home that we owned was great. Um, our neighbors were a little bit older, so they were like obviously not party animals, and they would spend their weekends, you know, gardening and just being really awesome and going to church on Sunday and all that, you know, typical like wonderful stuff. Um, but the second house that we lived in was kind of a little bit more of like a party street we noticed and so it was it became kind of an ongoing issue like on the weekends you know people were outside hooting and hollering and um it wasn't all the time you know but it was definitely something that we noticed and it wasn't the vibe that we wanted to kind of be around and so you know you kind of take that risk with owning a home of you not being able to control your neighbors and not being able to control situations surrounding you so um, that's why we've been kind of picky about our next home. Like we kind of, you know, drive through the neighborhood and, you know, watch the people and kind of see, you know, like, Hey, are these people that we want to live around? Does this look like a family friendly neighborhood or does it look more like a party street? So as far as the pros of owning a home, which there are quite a bit, uh, one of the biggest things I thought of was the fact that your mortgage payment is actually going towards something. So it's going towards paying off your loan. And for me personally, I am absolutely obsessed with the idea of owning my home outright. So knowing 
knowing that my mortgage payment is going towards paying off the principal of a home, I absolutely love that. Now with renting, again, your payment is going towards paying off somebody else's mortgage or benefiting somebody else, but when you own the home and it's your loan that you're paying off, I absolutely love that because again, it gives you the opportunity someday to actually own the home outright. Second pro is that it's your home. So it's filled with your life and your memories. I absolutely love the idea of owning a home and being able to know that, hey, you know, my children, this is where they're gonna spend their Christmases and their birthdays and they're gonna just have their childhood here. And for me, like, I absolutely love that. Like a home is more than just you know, four walls and a roof. It's where you live. It's where you have family night. It's where you cook. It's just where you, your, your sense of, you know, um, comfort and security is with a home. So I absolutely love being able to invest my life and my time into that. And the last pro is that once your home is paid off, you have the ability to grow your wealth and give, which I am absolutely obsessed with. I cannot wait until we own a home and I don't have a mortgage payment anymore. Now I know you have obligations as far as taxes and insurance and things like that, but when you own your home outright, your just overall obligations and responsibilities are decreased. Your overhead is lower, you know. You have more money to be able to do other things with. And I love that. I love just being in a position financially where I know that my house is paid off. I only have to pay X amount every year for taxes and insurance, and that's it. And you know, I have the ability to have take this cash that I would be paying towards my mortgage and I can do something else with it. I can give with it. I can go on vacation. I can, you know, uh, bless someone else's life. And so that is such a great, um, you know, pro to owning a home. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, please go check out Free to Frugal. She has an awesome channel here on YouTube. And uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.